If you had just been diagnosed with cancer, what is the first thing you'd want to know? For many, the only things needed in that moment would be the comfort in knowing that there are treatment options and the support of family and friends. So what if I told you that your only treatment option is to undergo invasive surgery combined with chemotherapy that could result in infection, infertility, or even death? What if I also told you that the stigma surrounding your cancer may make you feel too uncomfortable or embarrassed to even seek comfort from your loved ones? Well, unfortunately, this is not a hypothetical situation. This is the reality for over 600,000 people worldwide who have been diagnosed with HPV-related cancers. There is clearly a gap in the standard of care for these patients, and my research seeks to fill that void. Now, let's back up, because what is HPV? Well, HPV, or human papillomavirus, is a sexually transmitted virus that, believe it or not, 80% of people will be infected with at least once in their life. Of course, not every HPV infection is going to lead to cancer. However, persistent infection with high-risk types of HPV, such as HPV-16, is a major cause of not only cervical cancer, but an increasing number of head, neck, penile, anal, and oral cancers. Now, the main culprit in HPV cancer development is a small but deadly viral protein known as E6. This protein is expressed only in the virus, and it is then involved in a multitude of cancer-developing processes. I like to picture the E6 protein as a microscopic Swiss army knife, where each tool is a different function needed by cancer cells to survive. My goal is to block as many of these functions as I can to totally inactivate the E6 protein because no E6 means no more cancer cells. So how do I plan on doing this? Well, I am using immunotherapy, more specifically antibodies, to specifically target the E6 protein. However, I'm not necessarily using human antibodies. Let me explain. Both sharks and llamas produce a very unique type of antibody that is very specific, but it's also very small, almost like a microscopic guided missile. So, since llamas are a little bit easier to catch, our lab has generated a number of llama-derived antibodies that are able to target and bind to the E6 protein. Currently, I am in the process of evaluating their ability to block E6 and kill cancer cells. I have already identified some very interesting antibodies, and when my arsenal is complete, I will be able to specifically target the virus and treat HPV-related cancers. With this project, I believe that we can create a safe and effective treatment option for patients suffering from HPV-related cancers, all thanks to a whole lot of science and llamas, of course. Thank you.